All right. Hey, everybody, it's John Paduchak. I'm here tonight with Jason Benoit. We're going to talk hey. a little bit about building a big list with mini, giveaway, with, uh, mini giveaways and Google Hangouts, which we did Perfect. a little bit of this afternoon. So uh, we kind of got warmed up on the subject. Hey, how you doing, Jason? I'm doing great. How you doing today? I'm excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we had a great chat today. We kind of got uh, got everybody, I think, warmed up to hear a little more about the continuing saga of mini giveaways. And um, you know, I'd mentioned earlier that the the inspiration for this event that we're doing was watching you guys a while back when you did the maximum leverage giveaway. And um, why don't we talk yeah. about it? Yeah, that was a uh, pretty nice size giveaway event that we did. Uh, that was back, man, was that about a year ago? I want to say it was... Was it that long? Longer. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that was a, a pretty big giveaway event. Uh, not the, not exactly the biggest I've done, but what I liked about it is we did some different stuff. Uh, so I, I, I guess from the beginning here, I guess I'll just explain giveaways, uh, just in case somebody's coming on here and doesn't understand what we're talking about with a giveaway event. Normally with a giveaway event, that is where you have an administrator of the giveaway, of the event itself, and that administrator is looking for JV partners or participants. It depends on, you know, what kind of program they have or what they call them. And those are people that are going to put their free gifts into the, the program, the system. So when somebody actually signs up, they get taken to a page where it's displaying all the participants or JVs products that they're giving away for free. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and then each participant normally in a mini giveaway event, usually it's an event where you're telling the participants, hey, I need every participant to send X amount of clicks to the event to promote the event to help people build their email lists. Uh, help all the participants or JVs help build their list. Now, if you're the administrator, everybody that comes to the event gets put onto your email list, and that's where you know the power of this really starts coming into place because you are leveraging the traffic of all your JVs or participants and them sending all the traffic to you to help build your list. Okay, so that in a short period of time is really what a giveaway event is. Uh, they run multiple different ways. They, uh, you have the huge giveaway events, and then you have what's called mini giveaway events. And right now what I've been seeing a lot more of is the mini giveaway events rather than the huge giveaway events of past years uh, that we used to do. And we're, we're, uh, they started becoming very common. Okay, and the issue occurred where now if you went through one event, you've seen the next event, you've seen the next event, and it was all the same. So it's, it started not becoming, you know, it, it was, if you've seen it once, you've seen it again, you're like, eh, why would I want to participate in this? So you had to make it something that was different, not just the same event over and over and over again. And I remember uh, earlier when, we're, when we had the smaller chat um, yeah. and people, and I said, hey, there was one little trick that I did that nobody else did for a while, and that's why I was winning a lot of the giveaway events. They were doing oh, contests yeah. for the JVs. So <laughs> what I did, as a JV, you're given a special link to promote. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you're given a special link to promote so it knows if you're sending people in, and it, it tracks all your clicks, and uh, sometimes there was contests where you could actually win, win money or prizes and things like that. So what I ended up doing is I noticed sending traffic to the giveaway event squeeze page, all the giveaway events had the exact same look. Mm -hmm. The text might have been a little bit different, but they're all the same. And as time went on, the conversion rates just went lower and lower and lower and lower. And I said, wow, you know what? I'm a programmer, so you know I know how to do HTML and PHP code and all that. So what I did is I went to the page, my using my affiliate link, went to the page and looked at their opt-in form. Mm -hmm. 
saw the code, saw where it was hiding a field, which was my affiliate ID. I said, you know what? I'm going to copy this code, create my own squeeze page that I know is going to convert much better and drive traffic to that squeeze page. So really when they're signing up, they're still signing up for the event, but instead of it converting at, 17% of what it, it used to be, now I had it converting at 50%. That's pretty smart. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's very really creative. I like that one. Exactly. So that's how I ended up really back a, a few years ago. That's when I got heavy into giveaway events. That's how I was winning all the events because wow. I had my own squeeze pages. And then once I started doing my own events as an administrator, I said, hey, I'm an admin. I want as many people as I can to register because they're all going to go on my email list. So why don't I create all these different squeeze pages and allow my JVs to promote a different looking squeeze page rather than the exact same thing that everybody else was doing if they had a giveaway script. Mm -hmm. And that's when it just skyrocketed and ended up doing some pretty big events. I think the biggest event I had um, was about 16, it was 15, 16,000 subscribers in that event. And when it came all the way down to the very end of the event to pay off all the uh, prize money and everything that we're giving away, I think there was four of us involved in this giveaway event. It cost all of us less than $100. And I'm wanting to say it was 60 some dollars a piece to do this. Now, for 16,000 subscribers, would you pay 60 bucks? I think so. I'd pay, I'd pay 60 <laughs> bucks you know, all and day, every day. All day long, right? <laughs> exactly. Know, so it was actually, it, it was just a really great way of building the list. And, and really, you got to think about it. It might have cost me 60 bucks there, but the amount of money I made off of that, because now I have this list of 16,000 people that I'm promoting other offers and services to them that they're purchasing. And also, I was, I was selling uh, traffic, solo ads. So... Mm -hmm. I have about 16,000 people that are clicking links and, you know, creating money and income for me. So really off of that, I profited it so much. It's just ridiculous, you know. So if you do these successfully, leverage the traffic that other people are sending to you. So uh, there's multiple different ways and, and different, different things you can do to make money off of this. And let me just ex explain one of those if you don't mind right now uh, before I forget this one. I'm all ears. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know somebody, a couple years ago I was speaking to him, he was very new uh, into online marketing and trying to get a business created and wanted to build his email list and start promoting uh, affiliate products and services. So what I told him to do is start to have a giveaway event. And what you would want to do is have co-host, okay? And each one of the co-hosts or co-admins, whatever you want to call it, they would also get the people on their email list. Okay, so have a couple. Okay. And uh, there, this wasn't hidden back in the days. We, we would always put, hey, here's all the co-hosts, and you're going to be put on their, their email list. So it wasn't something that was underhanded. Right. I'm sure a lot of people – it depends on how you use the, the software and what you're trying to do. But mm -hmm. uh, So then we'd display all the, all the co-hosts and co-register it so they're going on everybody's list and sell those positions. So now go ahead and maybe sell five positions for 250 bucks a piece. Well, that's $1,250. Then you, you get yourself uh, participants that are coming in and you tell all the participants, hey, you need to send at least 100 clicks or something, you know, or 250 clicks, whatever. So now all the participants, you're leveraging the traffic that they're sending in. Or maybe with even with the the uh, co-host, you tell them, "Hey, I'm going to charge you 250 bucks, but you also still have to send traffic as well." But guaranteeing them, "Hey, if I'm going to charge you 250 bucks, I guarantee you 500 subscribers at least." Mm -hmm. So make sure your event's going to convert, your squeeze page looks good. So then you're building a list, leveraging somebody else's traffic, and 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 then <laughs> you made 1250 bucks. <laughs> And now, you know, th things are starting to roll. And if you weren't able to actually get 500 participants or 500 subscribers, you can take some of that $1,250, buy some solo ads, and make sure that everybody got their, their right. clicks that they wanted. And that was a quick way for him to make money. He made money and started building an email list. So he had an email list of a couple thousand people in the first month 
the very first month just doing giveaway events. Wow. And put a couple thousand dollars in his pocket the very first month that he was doing, you know, an online business. That is a good story. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, like it, <laughs> but you're right. But you're right. I mean, it's a great, it's a great um, way to get subscribers, and it's a. I, I think, um, he, you know, the whole giveaway thing has kind of gotten tired in a lot of ways. Yes. You yes, guys, uh, you guys were the first at kind of putting an educational program together with it. And right. I kind of followed suit a little right. bit, bringing the Hangouts into the picture and kind of leveraging that a little bit. Right. Well, that's that's the one thing that with giveaway events, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen a tremendous amount of them recently. Okay. There used to be giveaway events every other All day. The there was a new one going on. But now they kind of dwindled down now. But you still have to do something different. You can't expect to be the same as, you know, John Doe over here and, Jane Doe over there, you have to set yourself apart. Be different. So then if you're doing an event where, hey, come on in, participate, you can get all these free products, and we're also going to give you X. Like in, in your case, we're going to give you some some uh, Google Hangouts. We're going to do some training or give you some information, give you a value-added service. you got to be creative and think out of the box. Right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> And I mean, once you, what a lot of people don't understand here, uh, especially when you're very new, they they want to make money immediately now. Yeah. Okay. And I was the same way when I when I first started. Hey man, I want to make money. I want to make it now. How do I do it? Yes, I I, I need the cash. I want my sales funnel has to convert at twenty percent. Yeah, right. You know, I'm not, I'm not getting twenty percent sales. It's just not going to happen. But that's what you expect. But if you really sit here and think about business and how you can do it wisely. If you give value to somebody, think about it as yourself. If somebody gives you great value, are you going to follow them? And then Absolutely. once they have something that is for sale, don't you think you might buy it? We buy stuff from people we like, know, and trust, right? Exactly. Exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah. once you get that trust factor, you're giving them value, you're building trust, and they start following you. It's so they're awesome. gonna start buying from you. And, and you know, it doesn't. It's not a tremendous amount of. Uh, uh, you, you don't have to be on, you know, Google Hangouts 24/7 trying to give value, you know, every minute of the day. But uh, you know, you, you do some Hangouts here and there. You give good mm -hmm. value. You're you're giving them some good training tips, tricks of things that they can do, and they they start following you, and. Uh, it works. It really does work. It, it's up to me. It's almost like ABC. You know, hey, uh, anybody that gives me good value. And that's why everybody out there probably has, uh, like myself. There's a restaurant I go to all the time. It might not be the cheapest restaurant. You know, it's it's well, it's not the cheapest restaurant, but I go there because the service. The service is great value, great customer service. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the managers are always coming over. Is there anything we can do for you? And now I got to know some, some of the people that work there. So every so often, all of a sudden, manager come over and say, okay, I'm going to buy a round of drinks on me. Perfect. You know, and it's just the, it's the value. I got to know yeah. him. He gave me good value, good service. I'm going to stick there, and I go there. Uh, it's almost like uh, you know, going to grocery store sometimes. I, I love walking into a Publix grocery store rather than – uh, and don't take any offense, <laughs> rather than a, a Winn Dixie or something, because when I go to Publix, I actually get the good service. I, I can don't actually have either, go... actually. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, so that's fine. Here, here I walk. Uh, basically, I have a Publix not that far from me, and I go yeah. over there, and I'm looking for a specific product. I'll just go up to the customer service desk, and they will physically walk me to the aisle and get the product and put it in my hands. Not, hey, it's on aisle three. Just go over there and get it. No. I mean, it's different service. So I don't mind spending the little extra extra money to have that service. Right. And you so know I what know they say. I'm getting something in return. Price, yeah. is only a, price is only an issue in the absence of value, right? Yes. They say that all the time. I just want to sneak in here for a second because uh, we do have a couple, we do have some viewers starting to trickle in. Okay. And uh, I just was going to say, hey, th thanks for stopping in. And um, if you've got any questions for Jason, Please feel free to uh, leave a comment on YouTube or G+, and we'd be glad to answer those for you while Jason's here. Yep. So you got to sneak those in every once in a while. That's one of the <laughs> things with Hangouts. you got to work in the 
the message of hey, thanks for watching, and um, you know, please feel free to ask all your questions. Definitely take advantage of being able to ask questions. Yes, because we don't get Jason all the time, and you know, he does have this evil thing going on. He's awesome at it. So there you go. Look, he's even got the look. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, you know, we, we kind of took your lead, too, when we did this because uh, I, I actually really liked that event when you when you guys put it on. And um, when when Hangouts started to become the next big thing, I figured what a great thing to tie to giveaway to make it look more original. Yeah. And, and it's just another, another value-added service. And to be honest, you know, normally if, if when we were doing something like that with the giveaway event and doing webinars, you're giving good training – but there's always, you know, I'm a marketer, so there's always something in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. Where along the lines are you going to be promoting a product, a service, or a coaching type of thing? So as long as you're giving the good value, and you always give the good value up front, and then you say, hey, I also have this over here. Uh, but it, And then at that point in time, it doesn't even have to be a hard sell. It's just sometimes I just do a soft sell. Hey, I gave you all this value, and if you're looking for something like this, here you can go here. Mm -hmm. That's it. And Jason has some great things to go take a look at. <laughs> He's one of my uh, most. Uh, you're, I think you're like one of my favorite uh, uh, software providers in this arena. You know, of giveaways and uh, uh, solo ads. You, you know, I mean, you do some great stuff in this area. I appreciate that. I, I've been a, uh, a programmer for many, 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 many years. I, I think since the internet was created, I was doing HTML code and. Um, so I'm 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 blessed to be able to have that ability to be able to do that, and then I know other programmers as well. So I mean, some of the stuff that you see that's created, I have to be honest, I didn't code at all, <laughs> of course, uh, because uh, I actually paid some people to do it. But I still go through all the code, and anytime I need to tweak something, do something, I'll do it myself. But uh, I like to do uh, programs that aren't, hey, here's push this button, make a million dollars. No. That's all. That's no. that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. If it did, I would already had it made, and I wouldn't be talking here on a Google Hangout. But <laughs> but you I do like some to... you do some great stuff that shortcuts for lots of people. And you know, we were saying today that so many times today people want solutions provided for them that make things make it easier for them to get going and make money right away. Right, because a lot of people they don't have any. They don't have. The technical abilities, and it's not something that I'm trying to be harsh or mean to anybody, but mm. a lot of people come online, and yes, they know how to surf the internet, but you don't have the technical abilities to know how to do PHP, MySQL, APIs, graphics, and, and all that stuff. So I try to create tools where somebody that doesn't have those abilities can use them. I mean, everything from tracking tools to sales funnel generators to mini site programs that are coming out to, you know, it just multiple different tools like that that everybody basically needs anyways. Uh, and I'm just, you know, I found a problem, I created a solution. That's exactly what just about every single software program I've created. It's exactly what I did. I found a problem, created a solution. That's it. That's what it's all about. It's the name exactly. of our game, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, I learned that very early on in my career. Is because I was always sitting here going, "What product should I make?" And I had a had a buddy of mine say, "You know what?" All you need to do is find the problem and create the solution. And if you can do it quickly. <laughs> Years later, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I just, oh man, I, I you know, I want to do a mini giveaway. You know, I, well, well, I either have to go out here and buy this guy's program, but it doesn't do this or this or this, and mm. then this one over here is just way too crazy, mad, hard to understand. So let me just create my own that makes it super simple, and then use it myself, and then sell it. Voila. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, I know We it took us a while to kind of find something that we liked, that we felt that we could work with within the framework of what we wanted to do. So it's not a, it's not a simple thing to find just the right giveaway script. I, I was very interested, intrigued by some of the things that you were talking about that you added to yours. I thought that was pretty cool. Yep. Do you have uh, is there is there any because I can't actually see is there any questions out there or uh, do you have any questions yourself, John? I haven't seen any questions yet. Okay, good. Hey, people, don't be shy. So I know we're we're here to answer them. So uh, feel free to pop in any any moment. 
<laughs> Don't be shy. I'll track you down. <laughs> exactly. We will find you, hunt you down, and, well, you know. But, uh, yeah, you can leave, like I said, you can leave your questions for us on uh, YouTube comments or in Google Plus comments. We'd be, uh, we'd be glad to answer anything. But, um, like, I, like I, well, kind of walking through what we were doing, what we were going through before, you know, I, it, um, it's interesting. It's a, giveaways are, giveaways are an area that, that kind of fell away a little bit. Um, but like anything, there's always a way to bring new twist back to it. And um, video especially has become such a big, big thing right now because pe- I think more people want to get to know us better. You know, it's a, it's a big, it's going to be uh, a happening thing. And I mean, like I said, the hang, hangouts specifically, I think, um, are a particularly great area of video because people want to get to know us better, be able to kind of interact with us. And those are the comments I get back a lot. Right, right. I mean, uh, Google Hangouts, to me, uh, John, you, you know this, and everybody out there, I'm just going to say this. This is something that I've been looking into here. You know, within the last couple of weeks, I've been really serious about looking at it to Google Hangouts and figuring it out. And honestly, doing the Google Hangout is a lot easier than I thought. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's very... When you first do it, you're yeah. kind of like, Ew, what do I do? And I'm a programmer too, but I'm still a little, hey, I have to make sure. And I, I don't, I, I, if I do this, is it really live? And does it go automatically on YouTube? And how can I change this? And I don't want to do that. And I don't want to press the wrong button here or there. It actually, once uh, John, you took me through it. <laughs> you yeah, personally took me through it, and I appreciate it. And That's it just, it, what we probably were on there, uh, you know, 10, 20 minutes, and we went through the whole thing, and it was awesome. Yeah, awesome. half an maybe maybe a half an hour, mm-hmm. wasn't too bad. And you know, I'm the, I'm kind of the same way, Jason. I mean, I'm a I'm an engineer by background, and so uh, actually, it's kind of funny because you know they often say that you don't do what you did in your field. I'm kind of getting back into it because my degree is in imaging, so <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of funny. So here we are, you know, getting into video and getting into a lot of things. But it's been interesting with some of the some of the things that have been going on. You know, I um, I've been watching a lot of really unique things happen that Google's doing with imaging, with Hangouts, and with video, and you know, bringing it all together and uh, and marrying all of the parts together. It's pretty cool. Right. There, there's always something new. I mean, I, I keep on getting new updates on my smartphone for the Google Hangout apps and everything, so I know they're continuously adding on and doing more things. So I, I definitely want to jump on Hangouts uh, early on learn about them, and then be able to use them to my advantage to market my own products and services. Yeah, and you've been doing a lot. You know, you were sharing with me the other day that you've been doing a lot more video lately. Yes. So oh, yeah. I mean, that's why I have, like, the, the backdrop you see right behind me, and mm-hmm. then behind that, I really have all the lighting and everything. It's uh, My office is also my studio. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I'm working on the backdrop thing, though. I, I got to do a little bit of work on that. Okay. I, okay. At least I've got something you can't just see everything behind me, so that kind of takes away a little bit of the background. So, hey, Trevor's joined us. Hello, John. Hello, Jason. How are you? Doing great. How you doing? I'm all right. Long day, wrapping up, but I'm in here now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So you, you might have some questions for Jason, Trevor. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? I've been waiting to talk to you for a little while, um, and I know you've got a couple things going on, and I see you got the unsubscribeinstantly.com underneath your, your lower third there, and that was something that I uh, I know you did a little video there with Sterling, but I thought that was a great thing. I don't know if you guys have talked about that at all. Um, I have used it, and I thought it was pretty neat. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I put it out there. That is, honestly, right now, that program, that right there is something that I'm, I'm really – really excited about it because it, it's just it's just awesome and I know we're supposed to be talking about hangouts but we can talk about anything minutes, I will <laughs> go through this and explain it uh, a lot of a lot of people uh, like myself I, all of a sudden before you know it you, you start getting into doing some marketing and then you're signing up on this newsletter then this newsletter then you got this coupon and then this over here and before you know it your inbox is really full of Hundreds of emails a day, mm-hmm. hundreds spam letters. This that I mean, people do. There's some black hat stuff that's going on out there. Okay, people 
do list swapping and importing people into their email list. Uh, this happens to me every single day. Every day I'm on somebody's list that I didn't even sign up on. And it gets a little you know, mundane to sit here and unsubscribe each and every person one by one by one. So this program, the way that uh, this is made when you go to unsubscribeinstantly.com, it allows you to type in your email address. And if you're using Gmail or Yahoo, which most people are using a Gmail or Yahoo account, what it does is it connects to your Gmail or Yahoo mail uh, using what's called OAuth technology. So you don't even have to give your password. You're just giving the program access into your Gmail account. And it'll go through the last uh, 1,000 emails, basically, in, in your account looking for newsletters. Okay, that they can unsubscribe from, and it'll show them one by one by one all the newsletters, and it has them pre-checked. Okay, and then at the very bottom, one big button that says unsubscribe. So then you can go through the list and say, no, I really wanted to stay on Jay's email list or John's or Trevor's, <laughs> and you check it to say, no, I want to stay on these, and then click on unsubmit, and it unsubmits you from every every other list. And as a marketer myself. The way that I use this is, of course, I have an account, my own account, I, I own Unsubscribe Instantly, where it is skipping over my email. So you're not unsubscribing from me, you're unsubscribing from everybody else. So let's face it, in email marketing right now, the problem isn't getting into the inbox. It's not, okay? If you have an uh, AR account with like a AWeber or a GetResponse or a SendReach or something like that, you're getting into the inbox, okay? If you have a reputable company that you're working with. You're, you're getting there. The problem is you are battling your competition. And your, your one email is coming in, one, two emails that you're sending a day, is competing with the other 100 emails that they're receiving. So if you went and had your subscribers and say, hey, I know you have information overload. Yeah, you, you might have some productivity issues. So you can run this program for free, unsubscribe from all the crap that you're getting, and except really mine. clean up your inbox. Yeah, <laughs> and basically, except yours. Exactly. So you're eliminating, basically, it was my idea to be able to eliminate the competition. Nice. So Very then nice. when I'm sending my emails, they're going to see them because they're not getting all these other things coming through. You know, the really weird thing is, though, Trevor, that I'll say, it's when I ran this myself. The very first time I ran this, I was sitting there going, wow, I can't believe how many newsletters I really wanted to stay on. <laughs> Actually, I, you know, did, I, mean, I, I did the same thing when I went through it, yeah. too. I'm like, yeah, you know, I kind of want to stay on that. I kind of want to stay on that. I did right. the exact same thing. So I'm sitting there, because before you know it, you're sitting here looking at, you have Delta, then you have Groupons, then you have <laughs> this list that you're on, and then, you know, this other list that you're on, and you're like, wow, I really wanted to stay on those. And I was pretty surprised to actually see how many I wanted to stay on. Mm -hmm. But uh, normally those were, you know, Companies where I'm getting special deals for, you know, Woot. I'm not sure if anybody knows what Woot is. Yeah. And all these other, all these other sites, and it's like, wow. Here's about 20 email lists I really wanted to stay on. That's kind of crazy. I didn't, I didn't even know, know I was on that many email lists. And so I actually go in here and run this myself every so often. And, and uh, I don't, I don't think own. a lot of us realize how many things that we're on. It is crazy, and you know what's really nuts is when you go. I go into uh, my Gmail and then just click on the spam folder and see how many emails got into the spam. I'm like going, what? <laughs> if from people I don't even know. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I can't imagine. Do you do you find though, even though, um, like like you were saying, you know, if if you're providing value, the inbox really isn't that big a deal. Do you find though that you're trying to interact with people more on other fronts? Because of um, everything, I I am the where I'm gearing my stuff towards is not just building an email list, but it's building up your social media as well. Mm -hmm. So if you have them on your email list, try to also get them into Facebook, into Twitter, LinkedIn, all these other different you know now Google Plus, get them on all these other places. <laughs> so yeah, so honestly, if they Let's say they did unsubscribe from your email list. Well, you still have chances with Facebook, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. Google Plus, and all these other social media sites to be able to connect with them. The other thing I like too, and I know I need to do be doing a little more of, but taking our lists and using them for custom audiences and Facebook, and which yep. is awesome because you really got some things with Edge Rank now to be able to put ads in front of them all the time, or and really keep in front of them. Right, right. Two. That's I've I've done that myself. I've actually taken my whole entire list, mm -hmm. put that into uh, Facebook as a custom audience, 
and started promoting ads and actually taking specific lists and doing just specific ads depending on the list because uh, I know with some of the way that I do some of my uh, email uh, list building is I have, I guess you would call it a, a prospect list, people that mm -hmm. went to your page, signed up, but, but then didn't buy the product. And if they do buy the product, I put them onto a buyer's list and remove them from the prospector, prospect list. So then I take that list of all the prospects, put it into uh, Facebook as a custom audience, and will promote the same product for, with a heavy discount. Uh, so then, hey, before you know it, you make some extra sales because somebody wanted your product, just didn't want to pay the full price. And that works out every time. I think uh, one of the last uh, Facebook ads that I did promoting a product, $8.80 some cents, but I made – Five hundred and twenty-two dollars. I know, I love it that. You told me, me that today. <laughs> fifteen minutes. Yeah. It, literally, it took me fifteen minutes to create the ad. That's funny. I mean, that's great. That is really awesome. You know, I, I just, I, I think, it, yeah, it is pretty funny because <laughs> all of a sudden I go, hey man, I want to hey. on this weekend. I want to go out for dinner. I want to bring my better half out for a nice dinner. Oh, let me just do a Facebook ad. It's a good <laughs> meal. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's a that's a really good meal. <laughs> now, now the Facebook stuff you're doing, you incorporating retargeting and everything with that too, or not yet? Uh, I am starting to get into retargeting. Yeah. But uh, I'm not fully there because I'm going to be using that more. When I'm launching my new new products that I have coming out, because I have a lot of these products, yeah. but I really haven't fully launched them. It's it's a lot of it is word of mouth. All of a sudden, somebody like uh, Trevor, you said you seen unsubscribe instantly, and I haven't promoted that really anywhere. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, I have people coming to me, so I haven't hey. tried to launch <laughs> it yet. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, so once I truly do a launch, I should I should I'm lazy. I should be doing it now. Honestly, I should. Uh, or I should get a VA to do it for me. Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing because I, you know, that was my plan for my launch was to do was to do that and bring in perfect audience, yep. especially to kind of get started. And you have to have, I think, um, uh, a thousand people go through to your to whatever page you're promoting to get okay. the ball rolling. And yeah. um, I I keep thinking I had to get that started sooner rather than later. <laughs> You know, to, yeah, to, yeah, to it takes a while, and it, when you get it set up, too, it takes a couple days for them to approve your site and a bunch of different things. But it's it's pretty cool. I, I like how it works. It's awesome mm -hmm. when you sit there and think about it, and then the potential of being able to target certain individuals during certain states of the sales funnel, all the way from these are the prospects, these are the people that went to the page, but they didn't purchase. Mm -hmm. These are the people that did purchase. These are the people that purchased the upsell. And here's you know, the people that purchased the first product or the upsell. So then maybe I want to do an ad for a webinar for them. And I mean, there's so many different things that you could do and promote depending on what state that they're in. Mm -hmm. And it's just, uh, I'm actually <laughs> going to uh, an event this weekend in Memphis uh, to actually oh, learn yeah. more. I mean, I, I've been doing Facebook ads for a while, but I know, just like anybody else, I don't know it all. No. Well, you know, I know a lot, but I don't know it all. So I'm always trying to get some more, uh, more training or coaching on the things that I feel are going to be profitable for me to to do. Uh, two things, <laughs> you know, one of them, John, is I do. Google Hangouts. I really want to learn Google Hangouts more, just to get the ins and outs and really think about possibly even creating a, a, a software product to be able to work with Google Hangouts. But um, I got some Hangouts. thoughts. Yeah. Oh man, I got tons of thoughts. <laughs> Google just Hangouts look. and also, uh, oh man, I just train a thought just went. Oh, and Facebook, Facebook ads. Mm. <laughs> that's that's why I'm going this weekend. I'm going to the event to learn more about nice. the ins and outs of Facebook ads and uh, getting some better uh, training on how to do it and getting somebody really in into the nitty gritty and showing them what I'm doing to find out how I can even profit more with them. Nice, really very cool. nice. You know, it's it's one of those things, you know, we, we kind of cover a lot of ground when we do something like this because we end up in another conversation, but it's all together, you know, I mean, it all relates together. It's uh, well, you, you Every don't time ever... I'm on here with John, I think we go <laughs> sideways like four different times, yeah. every well, single time. I try, to t I try to tell everybody, uh, when you're, when newer people come to me and they're just starting out, you have to start someplace and start doing something, but then all of a sudden you're adding on multiple different things into your business of how you're going to do things. So now let's say they start doing 
giveaway events. Well, then maybe they should start also maybe purchasing some solo ad traffic and then maybe mm-hmm. also then going in and learning how to do some Facebook stuff and then you need to learn how to do this and then learn how to build your own sales funnels and learn how to build mm-hmm. your own products and then I can keep on going on and on and on but mm-hmm. you have to diversify and, and do multiple different things but learn one thing first then move on and that's the problem with a lot of people they get information overload they mm-hmm. They look at one thing, try to do it for a day or two. If it doesn't work out, <laughs> they go to the next thing. If it doesn't work out, they go to the next thing. Yeah. Seriously, did Microsoft work out the first day? No. <laughs> but look, they're all billionaires now. You I know. know. You've got to give it time. you you got yeah. to give it time. And it's easy to do because everything changes. Every day there's something new to be kind of, yeah. well, yeah. hmm. Yeah. You know, that was crazy. Expect- I was just talking to somebody today, and he, he uh, they were saying that they've spent $16,000 on all these products and services. No, I'm sorry. They were doing it for 16 years and spent okay. $6,000. First off, me in my head, I'm going $6,000 in 16 years. That's not that much, but $6,000 together is a lot of money to yeah. not have not have shown anything, has not made $1 yet. And then, but was sitting here talking to me about, hey, I tried this, then I tried this, then I tried this, then I tried this, then I tried this, and kept on going on and on and on. I was just like, wait a minute, you know, all the way to the Amazon, to the Ebays, to the Craigslist, to the, you know, all these different things. I was like, put the, pump the brakes on. Start with one thing and keep doing it until you become the master of it. Yeah. Then move sure. forward. That's like, uh, that's like the giveaway events. Here, I'm going to roll it back mm-hmm. into giveaway events. That's exactly what I did. I started as a participant, mastered how to be a participant and win those giveaway events when, when they had prizes for JVs, mm-hmm. and then let me start being an admin and master that section of it and really leverage other people's traffic to build my list. Yeah. Then I move on to the next thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we, we even found, um, you know, amongst us, we were getting caught in little things that we wanted to learn and catch up on, so we'd start, like, little kind of study groups to work on a particular thing, you know, like Facebook ads or whatever. We, we, we were working on little study groups, and we ended up, um, the other day, one of our friends was starting uh, uh, Facebook ads. We ended up doing like a whole hour segment at it <laughs> and just did a hangout. We said, hey, we're going through this. Probably other people are too. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, Facebook ads, it, it's they just changed here recently too. Uh, Facebook themselves keep on... They keep on adding new stuff into it where you used to, uh, like going through Power Editor, you used to set up the custom audiences. Mm-hmm. Now it looks like you can do that just within Facebook ads. And yeah, I think so now. There's always new little things being added into it, which is it's awesome. It's kind of hard when you're trying to, you know, maybe when you're if you're trying to create uh, training videos because mm-hmm. all of a sudden you do a video today, and then tomorrow the whole thing changes. <laughs> like, yeah. Imagine how I feel going to look at the Google Hangouts interface when it changes look every three days. <laughs> every three days is different. <laughs> it's like I'm going mental. Every three days, it's a whole other yeah. story. I can't tell you how many times I've done the video for my product. <laughs> I, mean, I uh, love change, yeah. but then I hate change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a love. Yeah. It is. It's a love hate yes. relationship in a lot of ways. It's just, uh, you know, it just got to stop chasing the shiny stuff and uh, tunnel in. But um, I'm lucky I get to talk to Jason quite frequently, so uh, we, we, uh, we kind of cover a lot of ground in between uh, visits. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be transparent, and that's uh, another thing that's really strange. You wouldn't believe this. In some of the emails that I send out, I actually have my phone number. Oh, wow. Which brings this phone right here. So all cool. of a sudden, I answer the phone, and I've had several people go, What? You, I can't. Is this Jay? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think it is? <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> you know, this, this isn't a phone service over in in India or nothing. You know, uh, yeah, people are used funny. to calling phone centers and then having to, you know, leave messages and do that. No, I answered the phone. I actually had this one guy just totally freak out on me. Are you serious? This is really you? And I'm like, uh, Yeah, I'm a regular person just like you. I put my pants on one leg at a time. You know? Yeah. And we and we do respond to things amazingly enough. Yeah. yeah, well, that's that's all about you know giving good customer yes. service and value. I, I I really I really I'm a person that has uh, the thoughts of you know yesteryears is what I call it. You know, when I was a young kid, everything was all about respect and customer service. Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember walking into a bank with my parents when I was younger, and they really you know gave you good service, quality service. Mm-hmm. It wasn't oh come up to our teller line and then. You know, now you got to pay a five dollar fee because you walked in the branch instead of using the ATM like they do today. You know, some crazy yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It was really, 
you know, personable and, and down to earth customer service. And that's what I want to try to bring back to, you know, in what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, I feel if I give good customer service, people are going to talk about it. They're going to s- tell other people. And I know they have, it's already happened to me. Yeah. And, uh, all of a sudden, you know, I got branded. One person uh, branded me as, "Oh, you're the nicest guy in marketing." <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> Maybe the second I'm a nice nicest. guy, but I can be mean too. <laughs> you know? I get that a lot too. Yeah, but you know, but, but but it's true. Who wants it's to work with somebody that's not nice? You know, yeah. I wouldn't want to. No, and I and and you know, customer service stuff is such a rarity now. I mean, I I was joking with um, Dennis Becker the other day. We were talking, and I said, you know, I, I think I can count the number. On both hands, you know, if I go to look for a product for something, there's like maybe 10 people I go looking to see if they've got something I'm looking for. I, I really narrow down who I even will work with on things. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy because I know what you're talking about. Because also yeah. when I when I'm starting a new project, a product that's coming out, sometimes I'll put a little teaser on Facebook, and there's people that'll contact me that have bought my previous products, say, "What is it? I want to buy it right now." I mean, they don't. All I have to do is tell them what it does. And they don't even need to see it. They buy it because they know, you know, when you give somebody good customer service, just like we talked about before, that's why mm-hmm. I still go back to the nice nice restaurant. Even though it costs more mm-hmm. money, they give me better service. That's why I go yep. into the Publix because yep. they give me better service. I mm-hmm. will pay extra money for better service. Now, Absolutely. If it was uh, – uh-oh, my monitor's shaking. One second. I was going nuts. Earthquake? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Earthquake <Hurricane>? Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but um, – yeah, and I completely lost my train of thought. No, uh, customer service. <laughs> customer service. Oh, it's customer all about service. the service. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it is. Same. I'll pay more for extra yeah. service yeah. every time. Any, most people any day. Any day. And the other thing I love that you do that, um, you know, I do a lot too, but I've heard other people do it, is the thing with the video. You know, do a short video oh, for people. Man. and That is brilliant. I, was, I, was, I totally can associate with that. I've done it myself. This is this is one of the best things, and honestly, I got to give my man Tom Beal props on this. If you know who Tom Beal is, you know Tom Beal. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. He told I got me, his get Lucia it. mask somewhere yeah. over on my. <laughs> he told me <laughs> get, a, get an X shot. Okay, it's called an X shot, and what yeah. this does is you have a little uh, little right here. I bought another uh, piece that goes on here that uh, screws onto here, and it holds my smartphone just mm-hmm. like this, so people can actually see. It holds a smartphone. And it's a little boom too, so then I can project it out, so you can, you know, be sitting there. And basically, what I'll do is I'll, I'll project it out. I'll turn around so my monitor is behind me, and whatever product or service that somebody purchased, I have that on my screen. And then I would say, "Hey, Trevor, thank you very much for purchasing. You know, in, uh, unsubscribe instantly from me. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know." And Basically, that's about it. You know, a little bit more into the video, but personalized video. So I'm saying their name, mm-hmm. personalizing. It literally takes you 15, 30 seconds to make the video, and then since it's on my smartphone and I have an Android, mm-hmm. I just sit there and go smartphone, do the video, share with Gmail, type in their email address, type in a little message, send. That's it. That's amazing. So literally, I mean, if you had, let's say, if you were just doing 10 sales a day. So then following day, take the first 30 minutes of your day to create those personalized videos and send them. The very first week, very first week I did this, I made an additional $10,000. Wow. Mm-hmm. Ten grand, And I verify that because basically <laughs> it was from high-ticket coaching clients. Mm-hmm. And I asked them specifically, you know, after going through some of the training, what was it that really made you – choose me because I know there's a lot of other people out there that they can go to. So I wanted to know what it was just for my own well-being. Hey, I'm a marketer, so I want to you know, use that mm-hmm. to my advantage. Mm-hmm. And uh, a couple of the people said, it was the personalized video that you sent me. Nobody's ever done that. And I felt like you were you know, different. Yeah. Yeah. And I was. I mean, what happened is uh, Tom Beal did that to me. I actually purchased uh, some consulting with Tom. Uh, to talk to him, and he gave me a little personalized video. I was like, oh, man, that's, that's just awesome. sweet, man. That's just awesome. I'm going to have to use that idea. Remind me, think Google+. Plus. I, I have I have a great addition to your idea. Okay, you just on. made me. You just made me think of it. So just rem- I'm, I'm keeping it secret Google for now. Plus and- <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding back for later in the week. 
Okay, no, but, uh, I, I, I just made a note, and I'm going to put you on my calendar to bug the crap out of you for the yeah, next few days. Oh my gosh, you won't, you won't believe you won't believe the idea you just gave me. <laughs> and I know you don't know about it because I asked you today if you'd ever heard of it. So uh -oh. we 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 will really we will reveal it in another video. <laughs> <laughs> so you must watch later yeah. <laughs> if you want to find out the secret. Yep. But um, yeah, so I mean that, gave, that oh man, you're gonna love this. <laughs> It's a it's a little it's a little Google Plus secret, and um, it's not really that big a secret, but it's amazing how many people don't know how to do it. So I think well, you're cool. gonna like it. Yeah. I can't I can't wait I can't wait. Awesome. But uh, one thing that one thing that I also wanted to say too, because we're talking about doing personalized types of yes. things. Yes. Is uh, I wanted to get on because it it goes along with giveaway events and everything because it's all about uh, list building. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you get somebody on your list, you're gonna be sending emails to them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what I want to get to. I want to be talking about the emails. Now, a lot of people yeah. that I'm seeing, they're sending emails that really sound like marketing crap. Quotes, okay? <laughs> and you can tell it's a sales letter or something marketing. Yeah. Try something different. Okay. Yeah. I mentioned this to somebody a couple of years ago. They do this, and they do this very well. This one person is the best I've ever seen do this, and his list is just huge. He's got a huge following. Mm -hmm. Personalized emails to a point of not saying, hey, Trevor, you, or, or you know, you don't have to put their name in there, but try to talk about you, you your life, your family, things around oh, yeah. you, things you did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for instance, mm -hmm. there's uh, – my number one email that I sent out, or I would, no, I would say it's number two email that I sent out, and this was on accident. Okay, this I stumbled on this one on accident. I woke up in the morning. My cat was having a hard time breathing. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you this story yeah, before? Tom? The story about the cat. Yeah, yeah. So, so hopefully everybody else can understand this. I think we spend too much works. time together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so all of a sudden, my list is used to getting an email in the morning. So it's like, oh man, let me just. I have to run, get my better half, tell her, hey, we got to take the cat to the vet. Something's wrong here, you know. Still, you know, you're a little worried, but still breathing, but just really odd. Mm. So okay, let me take a few minutes. Let me just write this email out real quick. So, hey, everybody, uh, I just I have to run my cat to the vet. And I'm sorry, just having a hard time breathing. And I know you're used to seeing, you know, my messages in the morning. I got something that I want you to check out here. Take a look at this. Uh, next paragraph. Hey, when I get back, I'll let you know. I'll give you an update on how my cat's doing. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Send. I mean, real quick. Oh, my God. <laughs> the people that replied to the email. Oh, yeah. It was just in grove. People just replied. Oh, I hope your cat's okay. And then I started thinking, wait a minute. I just let them into my personal. Number one, I let them into my personal life. So now yeah. they're like feeling like they're friends with you. And that's mm -hmm. how really you need to start I, – I suggest start writing your emails so then you're letting them in to your life. And almost like story-based emails as well. And they don't have to be super long because everybody likes smaller emails. Shorter emails work better unless you have a huge following and people you know, bow down to you and listen to every single word you say. Shorter emails but story-based. And then try to wrap whatever you're trying to promote or whatever link that you're trying to send them to, try to wrap mm -hmm. your story into that link. Mm -hmm. And then give them a reason to come back as well. Uh, I mean, I've had other emails that I'm sending out that I'm talking about, hey, I was out with my buddies masterminding, and this is something that we came up with, and blah, 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 here's a link. You wait mm -hmm. till you see what else we talked about and uh, what I'm <laughs> going to show you tomorrow. So giving them a reason to come back. Yeah. Uh, but those types of personalized emails have really started working for me and working very well. Yeah, story, nice. story selling works in a lot of places. I mean, that's why they have the, the promote – Story promotes and Facebook, mm -hmm. and, and lots of different places. I mean, story selling has always been a good way to kind of break the ice and and, and move right. to another level with people. And well, just be a couple of, uh, yeah, the couple of hangouts that John and I have done with with others is the exact same thing. It's the message is the same. Mm -hmm. It's always yeah. you know short, sweet, personalized. Mm -hmm. You know, let yep. let them in. Uh, one one other thing that I can say that I've done too that worked out well is instead of typing it out, because when you're typing it, you don't type the way that you talk. You Normally, right. you're typing proper English or proper American, I guess. <laughs> or, I don't know. You're from Canada, so... You know, it's know, close enough. Canada. Canada. Can Canadian. Canadian, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. It's not true proper English. But 
I've actually used sometimes uh, voice recognition. Yeah, a voice recognition <laughs> in my in my you know with my John, headset. you're close, and, eh? You're close enough to the border. You, you I am pretty close. Uh, and I was even closer this past week. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Could have hit your house with a rock. From the Probably. <laughs> so, but uh, sorry. but I use I use voice recognition to do the emails, and I was talking. So then it was typing out the way I'm talking. That got really accepted very well. Uh, by others because hey I'm just being a human and I'm not writing a marketing ploy it's almost like mm -hmm. hey I'm typing the way that I talk and that's the way they're reading it so it's almost relating to a real person uh, <clears throat> that worked out pretty well as well and hey I, I was lazy if... I didn't have to type it all out I could just talk yeah, <laughs> for sure but I wonder if because videos are so good mm -hmm. like I know I know you know seeing people's faces and connects too but I wonder if that's part of it too that it's not grammatically correct. It's somebody speaking. So I wonder if that's why those convert as well. I mean, I understand, you know, the personal ID you see, mm -hmm. but also also the wording of it is not almost rigid if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It's it's like just naturally talking. Right. And I think so, the videos that you see where they, they type it on the screen and they just read it, I think that throws me off because I don't care for those as much as yeah, I just I see like somebody going so through much. some. No. I personally don't like them so much, but I, I yeah. understand. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I like to have other movement rather than just words on the screen. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it is just moving. You know, believe it or not, for me, it was just movement. I wanted to see some kind of movement. So if they have the words, that's fine, but also have some movement or some character doing something on the screen. So whatever you're talking about, I'm also seeing as well mm -hmm. uh, to keep you engaged. Because, you know, I, I know what you're talking about because you see a lot of uh, videos that were like that. I would say probably... Yeah. You know, a year ago, I, I guess it was, when a lot of them, it was just the words. You'd have the words, they would be talking, you'd see the words going across the screen. On yeah. slides. Yeah, on slides. And then all of a sudden, a they're done talking, 30 stuffy. seconds later, go to the next slide. And it's yeah. just like, man, this is kind of boring. You know, at least have a little, you know, do a little thing, a little background music or yeah. something. Some or a little eat pictures effects, other than words or something. Going, going. Right. Yeah. And that's why, you know, video is so awesome because even – uh, some of the things I've been working with and trying to do and uh, is even though I, I'll do one video where I'm recording myself, and I record myself on my smartphone. Actually, I don't mm -hmm. have a camcorder. just do it all on my smartphone. Cool. But then once I put it, in, put it into my video editing program, all of a sudden, you know, have you ever seen a video where all of a sudden they're over here, then all of a sudden they're right like this, yeah. then all of a sudden they're back here? <laughs> it's the same thing. You're just yeah. expanding, I know somebody just like video that. and doing move, <laughs> movement. But it's, it's movement, so then it keeps them – they're listening to you, and it keeps them engaged because yeah. the picture is moving. It's, that's why video yeah. works so so much better, I think. And I, you know, uh, I know it works better. It, 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 there's no there's no fighting it. Video is mm. <laughs> where it's it, at. It, it I mean, is, it, yeah. it, it, it is, is where it's things at. are going for sure. And you know, it's interesting in Hangouts. I, I have somebody I've been coaching along, and he does exactly that. He'll move, and if he's watching, he's going to probably give me crap for mentioning this tomorrow, but. He does. He moves back and forth, and uh, you know, really, really moves. And if your camera is older, it doesn't focus on that very well. And then you get a whole other <laughs> set of issues. So it's kind of like the movement yeah. helps, all of that action helps, but it's kind of you've got to have the technology to be able to keep up with it too. <laughs> right. Right. When you actually start to work more with video, so. Nice. All right. Well, I know we went a little off track on on giveaways, didn't we? Yeah. Well, you know, it all run comes back together. There and... <laughs> it's 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 all good. I think it's all stuff lots of people are interested in. So, was there any questions that we that we missed? No, and I didn't get any. Uh, I didn't get any back. We've had um, a, you know some viewers on and off, up okay. and down a little bit, okay. but um, generally following along. So uh, if you guys do have questions as you're watching this, people who see this later on the replay, you know, feel free to uh, ask questions on Google Plus and on YouTube, and uh, we'll try to pop by and answer them, and we'll tell Jason how to do it too. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so it'll work out awesome. But um, no, I, 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 can't think of, I can't think of anything else. Usually we go to, uh, whenever I do something like this, we go to final thoughts. So... Um, you guys have a final thought you want to share before we uh, take off for the night? Uh, my final thought will be about, you know, of course, about giveaways is uh, just really think about the power of leverage and leveraging other people and other people's list and the traffic that they can send. 
Okay, and it, that's why that one event, John, that you're talking about, that's why we called it maximum leverage because we're yeah. leveraging all mm -hmm. the JVs and partners coming in. So using that to your advantage to help build your own list, it, it's it's crazy, crazy how how, uh, how big you can build your list and what you can do just with giveaway events. Final thoughts, I always have to bring out the camera. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I hadn't seen that before. I was like, what's this? Why is this popping up on my screen? I'll Hold explain on. I, that I, after. I, I got to let you take a picture of my, my best side. Let me let me turn around. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> no, I'll, expl I'll actually explain that later because actually it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good little tip to, to pick up with, with Hangouts, etc. But uh, go ahead, Trevor, final thought. <laughs> uh, first thought is I got to watch the first half that I missed, and I and I'm, I'm sorry for getting on late, but because I was sorry. really looking forward to tonight. But hopefully this isn't the last time, and, and I get back on with Jason because I'm going to have some more when I get some thought around it. But uh, you know, I, I, I've had what's that? Always an after party. There's always an after party, anyway. <laughs> which um, depends on Jason, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've done giveaways too, and, and I was part of that maximum leverage giveaway as, as a contributor, and, and I was learning us on stuff like that. And, uh, you know, John and I, I think, you know, we work, we've been working on some stuff here, and that's how we kind of got this kind of together. Um, the first one was a little, you know, bumpy, but I think we've worked some some pretty cool ideas together. Um, and I and I really enjoyed those giveaways. Uh, and, and like you said, Jay, like you really leverage other people. And if you get people engaged, they work really well, and you can have a lot of fun. And I think we can make it a lot more fun than it has been in the past. Right. With things just like this, you know, get more people involved, getting the people that are joining, not just you know, they're not just a name, right? They're just there's somebody that we can bring in and and give back at the same time, and they really learn. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to feel like they're a part of something, so yes. give that to them. Give it yeah. to them. Let them be a part. Let them be you know proactive. Let them be part of a group. Let them ask questions. You know, yep. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> See, it's always fun to be producer because I control who's on at any given time. So I can. <laughs> so this is the this is the ultimate spot to be in. Obviously, as the producer chair. Um, bus driver, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I think obviously, you know, you see we have fun with these, and I think the the idea around um, it's a long life. You know, you got to kind of have some fun in everything you do. So the the gi the giveaways I think are a great opportunity to, to network with other people, and, and I think this this is going to be a great way to kind of bring it all together. I think that was one of the things that we saw originally is that uh, you guys did something pretty cool for its time, and then we're doing a little twist on it to try to bring kind of the networking aspect and the community etc. back into it, um, because I think it's an I think it's a um, a space where people want to be able to interact more with other people as well as get great information and get great value and kind of the networking piece is yet another part of it that you can bring into the picture pretty easily. So um, I don't know, that's kind of my final thought. You know, what, what better way to interact and, and build a relationship with your list as they come in than this? Yeah, I sure, get the live in front of them. It's not that you're just recording a video, you're live in front of them where they can speak to you. Exactly. It's pretty cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, what we did tonight. I thought I thought uh, it went very well, and uh, appreciate Jason stopping by to be our guest. No problem, anytime. Always a pleasure. And uh, Trevor, glad you were able to get back to join us. Well, and thank you, um, thank you. Like I said, those of you out there who are watching this later on, feel free to ask us questions. We'd be glad to answer. And uh, on that note, off we go. But do. Uh, do plus one us and uh, like us and subscribe to our channel and uh, all of that great stuff. And um, hope you'll join us in the next giveaway. Have a great night.